So here I'm trying to remove some of the German keyboard keycaps and replace them with the keycaps from the UK layout. So this is not particularly difficult, but there are some a couple of things that need to be very carefully understood before attempting this action. Uh, otherwise, we risk to some kind of damage to the to the keyboard. So this one is one of the keycaps. So the first thing to understand very well is what is under the keycap. So here we have what it's two of these things here. They are called like a lobster claw, right? You see? I will also show this in a more detailed image uh, later on. Those two things here one and two, those are not lobster claw. So the idea is these two things here, they will need to slide in position and not, they don't need to be pulled up. This is the most important part. They don't need to snap in place. These two need to snap into place, right? So the idea here, when you remove a when you have to remove a cap, a key cap here. So the idea is that we undo the two claw, the lobster claw be, be, here below, doing the snip, snip, clip, clip, right? But we need to be sure that this part, the part on top here, will keep staying flat down. They don't need to come up because these two things below, these two things here, they do need they need to slide down so first the first thing to remove one of the key is to snap out these two places to two pieces below here so it's like snap snap but we need to keep the the top of the key down because then once the two claws are snapped out they the key itself will slide out, out of place so let's try this now <clears throat> with this key here, with the keycaps here. So to remove the keycaps, you need something very thin like this and very thin and very robust, all right? So, so you attempt to do this. Now you first hear a click, but this click is not it's not coming out of the two uh, clothes below here. So you need to wiggle a little bit until tick, that's the first one, tack, that's the, the next one, okay? So I kept, I kept this part pushed down because now I need to slide it, the key, the key cup down like this, see? Nice slide down. Now the key nicely goes away, right? So now you obviously, since you are here, you are also doing a bit of cleanup. I'm using a toothbrush. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. You do not, and I repeat, you do not want to mess with the butterfly key part here, do, do not touch it. So now we replace that keyboard, the key that is from the German keyboard to lay out to the UK one. Okay, so here is the new key that needs to be put in place exactly here. So as I was mentioning before, so now we need to do the things the other way around. So first of all, we need to slide these two pieces in place, no clips, no forcing, nothing, just a slide down. And then, once they are in position, we need to push these two guys down to clip to the butterfly structure here, right? So, put in here. So there are, you can see here, there are two these places here, one and two, these two gaps. So the idea is, is to put Those two things here, one and two, where is this gap, 
where are these gaps right so this is they're searching the place no pushing there you go and now we slide the key up in place and now again gently but firmly one two and that's it